here. I'm okay. I'm okay. But it's a lot. Here, let me help you. Medical. We've got one wounded at my location. Millie. Oh, man. We'll see you at sick bay. Status report. The repair crew made it inside. EPS flow is back to nominal levels. The SIF is back up. How does this affect mission readiness, Mr. Ermat? Releasing the docking clamps using hull polarity minimized damage to the Resolute. We'll have some last-minute repairs to make, but if we reapportion some of the staff, we can make our departure on time. As of now, however, we are successfully moored to the station. Good to hear. Send updates to my ready room. Commander Rydek, with me. You disobeyed my orders. Well? Respectfully, Captain. I made the right choice, given the information I had- You disobeyed my orders! And not just in front of the bridge crew, but the Starbase staff as well! That's going to get around. My name's already tarnished around the fleet. But what is it going to do to my credibility on this ship? From the top to the bottom. Bridge to lower decks. Captain, I told you I'd be honest, so here it is. Maybe I shouldn't have disobeyed a direct order, but you were wrong. You weren't on board, and you didn't have all the information. So I made the right decision for the ship. If you're worried about your credibility, put your ego aside and trust your crew. Trust me. You might have won some fans on the bridge with that stunt, but not everyone. Lieutenant Commander Chovak has already bent my ear. I'm sure he doesn't take it personally. He'll get over it in time. Mr. Chovak is more complicated than he would want to admit. I guess we all are. And, if I'm being honest, I'm not sure what I would have done in the moment either. You never really know if you weren't in those shoes. So, let's just boil it down to... you did what you had to. Thank you for understanding, sir. I'm sure no one knows the burden of command, as well as you do. I'm sure you will, someday. Despite it all, we got our final Starfleet clearance to depart. So if you'll fetch Mr. Ermot, we'll knock out the final details of any outstanding repairs, then we'll set out for Hotari. Yes, sir. All departments reporting full mission readiness. We've got our full complement on board. This is my favorite moment, right now. The start of a new mission is always full of possibility. The Orion Syndicate could sell it as a drug. <laughs> Don't let the Admiralty hear you say that. Captain on the bridge. Sit. Sit, everyone. You all know, I'm not big on speeches. We're embarking on the first mission since our refit. Let's make it a good one. Disengage docking clamps. Docking clamps released. Thrusters ahead, Mr. Handar.
That should do it. Set a course for the Hotari system. Prepare to go to warp eight. Aye, Captain. You know what? You take this one. Me? Engage. Simple, but effective. Easy. Thank you. I'm fine. Really, I, uh... You don't look so good. I have to get to sickbay. Go. Well, that was quite a scare. A few minutes more and it would have been one of the shortest tenues on record for a first officer. Is that the engineer that was out on the hull? That storm did a real number on her, but she'll live. Just needs rest. You should worry about yourself. Your deridium levels got dangerously low and destabilized your cell structure. This is definitely one of the more memorable first days I can think of. My name is Dr. Aram Duval, Chief Medical Officer. To be honest, I've never met a Kobliad before. You're rare, I know. I was going to say special. Your people's numbers have dwindled, despite the Federation's efforts to find a more readily available alternative to the Deridium you need to survive. Yet you joined Starfleet and managed to thrive. I imagine the responsibility must be overwhelming. Maybe even a burden at times. It does make me unique, but it's not a burden at all. I'm honored to be Kobliad, to represent my people. As you should be. And don't worry, I won't treat you like a science experiment. I just do the science and leave the experiments to Solano. You don't agree with his methods? I don't agree with his definition of acceptable risks. Not when the lives of your crew are at stake. My professional opinion is that the accident took a toll. More than he's willing to admit. He's overstressed, operating in the pressure cooker of his own mind. Which is never a good headspace when the lives of your crew are at stake. What concerns me is that now he's even further away from the thing he's been chasing his entire career. A breakthrough discovery. The major innovation. Something he can put his name on. But the more the time passes and the further out of reach it gets, the more risk he'll be willing to take. I hear you. But that's my job, isn't it? To make sure that doesn't happen. And we don't lose sight of the bigger picture. Which is exactly why I'm so glad you're here. We need you now more than ever. And I have to give you credit for what happened on the bridge. It took guts to defy a direct order. Huh. I guess word travels fast around here. It's a small ship. And everyone's curious about the new XO. Fortunately, your cell structure is almost completely stabilized. And I'll spare us both the lecture, but I do feel it's my responsibility to remind you, without regular infusions of deridium, you will not live. It's as simple as that. Understood. Then, my work here is done. Lieutenant Bedrosian. I came to see if you were okay. We were all pretty worried on the bridge. No one knew what was happening. I don't want anyone to worry. This is just part of who I am. It doesn't define me. Of course. 
I completely understand. And I would probably feel the same way if I were you. You trusted me earlier with the shields, and I appreciated that. I want you to know that I have your back. Thank you. Complete the diagnostic sequence, and this shuttle will be cleared for service. Yes, sir. The storm in the Hotari region will interfere with our transporters. So we need all available shuttle craft in working order. Excuse me, Commander Trobach. Petty Officer Maris. I will leave you to your work. I stopped by sick bay and saw Nui. I figured you'd want to know. Did the dock get her fixed up? She's stable. But there's something about the storm's radiation that's making it hard to heal the energy burns. That doesn't sound good. She's toughing it out. Dr. Duval said she'll be back on duty soon, though. Come on. I have to run the final diagnostic. I can't stay long. I've got a long to-do list before we get to Hotari, and things are piling on faster than I can check them off. We're making all our last-minute checks in security, too. Now, we'll just have to take things as they come. Control what we can, and roll with the punches. Next thing you're gonna tell me you're listening to Andorian jazz. No. The point is, the right time might never come. So, I'm just gonna roll with it. I had a chance to think about this while I was away. Then, you and Nilly almost got killed out on the hall. And I thought it was important that I just come out and tell you. Instead of tiptoeing around it. Or worse. Now, this is just a guess, but... You like me. Is that what this is? How'd you know? Must have been pretty obvious. Which is funny, because... Kinda came out of nowhere for me, at first. Well, you know... I was hoping. I guess that makes this a little easier to say. We've been really good friends for a long time. I wanna see if there's more between us... ...than just being friends. You don't have to explain it. I feel the same way. There is something between us. So, do you want to find out what that something is? If it's there for you, and it's there for me... <laughs> Are you kidding me? I just said yes. <laughs> I wanted to be sure I heard that right. These are... uncharted territories. I'd call it a chemistry experiment. You know, with us. I'm just really glad that you said something. I've seen how you operate. I couldn't wait for you to make the first move. I'm glad, too. So whatever happens next is great with me. Level 1 diagnostic complete. I have to get back to that to-do list. They're probably looking for me. Can't blame them. <laughs> I'll be seeing you. Approaching the rendezvous point outside Atari space. Helm. Bring us out of warp. Dropping to impulse. Ionic interference surging, Captain. Shield integrity holding. We can take it. We are at the correct coordinates to meet the shuttle. Commander Rydeck, find us our diplomat, if you will. Aye, Captain. Let's reduce the noise. 
Filter out environmental signals. I can manually tune what's left for Federation signal types. I've located the shuttle. Open in comms. On screen. Shuttle to Resolute. Shuttle to Resolute. Debris field. Lost maneuvering. Losing. I can't get it any clearer. You won't get a transporter lock. It's just not happening. Power up the tractor beam. We'll pull them directly into the docking bay. Diaz, you good to run the tractor emitter? Yes, sir. Come on, Diaz. First thing, lock onto the shuttle and stabilize the rotation. Debris. I'm on it. gonna take out the shuttle. Diaz, the bridge. There's a large piece of debris headed for the shuttle. The tractor beam can't handle it. Can our shields take it? I believe so. Commander Rydek, plot an intercept course. On it. Here we go. Maneuvering thrusters bearing 53 Mark 17, 200 meters on an intercept course. Maneuvering. Got it. Whoa! Someone's working hard on the bridge. Shuttlecraft on board. Good job. We're on our way down to meet them. Terra firma, so to speak. Ambassador Spock? Captain, we'll be right down to meet you, sir. In that case, I will wait for him here. Well, let me be the first to say, welcome to the Resolute, Ambassador. Thank you, Petty Officer... Carter? Carter Diaz, sir. I am pleased to meet you, Petty Officer Carter Diaz. It appears I have you to thank for my safe arrival. Your assistance arrived not a moment too soon, if I may say so. 
You're very welcome, sir. I'm glad we could get you here in one piece. Indeed. We thought we were prepared for our arrival in Hotari space. But it is evident my craft was not sufficiently robust for such intense ionic activity. The storm has been pretty intense. There was an element that was most unusual. Before you came to our aid, our maneuvering thrusters and impulse engines were rendered inoperable. So we attempted a short traversal at warp speed, only to find that we could not achieve warp at all. Even though our diagnostics computer showed no faults or anomalies. What do you make of that? When all indications say that warp speed is possible, but in practice, we find it is not. Well, this storm is one of the strangest phenomena we've ever encountered. It's disrupted other systems. Who knows what it might do to a warp drive? Yes, it would seem further investigation is called for. Take readings, run some additional diagnostic checks, and we'll get to the bottom of this. Quite logical, Petty Officer Diaz. Thank you. Ambassador Spock. Excuse me. I'm honored to have you aboard. I'd like to get right to it. We're already behind. 